Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to correctly set levels on the Studio Live AI mixer. Now, there are definitely a lot of uh, kind of schools of thought on how best to set your levels. And live sound guys will tell you how to do it one way. Recording guys like to do it another way. Uh, you know, because the Studio Live is actually both, it's a live sound mixer, but it's also a complete recording interface, and a lot of people like using this in the studio. I'm going to show you a way that I think works for both applications really well. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and select the channel, the first channel. So I hit the select button. And then I'm going to go over to the right side of the board and under the meters section, I'm going to hit input. So that brings up all of my input meters for the board. Now, because I've selected that channel, if you look up here in the selected channel area, uh, I also have the level of whatever channel is selected and you can see in DB where the level is. Now the object here is I want to get to about between minus 6 and minus 10 dB. So that's about maybe 50 to 65 percent of the way up as far as the level is concerned. So I'm going to go to the mic preamp gain which is the very first knob on channel 1. I'm going to turn that up until that level gets to about 50 to 60 percent up or between minus 6 and minus 10 dB. Now watch this, if I go too far, I'm going to have a, you know, a clip light come on, and that means I, I have way too much level, I have distortion. But if I don't go very high at all, you'll see, okay, now I've got this really weak signal coming in. And you know, the, the, the advantage of having a hotter signal or a nice healthy signal is that if you are going to record, of course, it's going to give you the best signal and noise ratio. So, about 50 to 60 percent up, okay, and once I have that kind of set like that, I'm going to turn up the channel fader to unity, which is where the little U is, and then I'm going to turn the master fader up to unity as well, okay? And once you have this done, you'll hear some audio. Now, if the audio coming out into your PA system or your studio monitors or whatever is way too loud at this point, you have a little black tweaker knob on the back of the Studio Live right by the master outputs where you can kind of attenuate that down a little bit so you don't have you know, too much gain coming out of the mixer. So basically I just showed you how to do it for one channel. All you have to do now is rinse and repeat one channel at a time, set your input gain, set your channel fader, and then you're done. So uh, hope this was helpful. Thank you.